Hi guys, I uh, thought we had covered this subject before and now I'm not too sure. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to change a wheel bearing on the 300E. These wheel bearings, if you change one, you change them all. All cars pretty much similar. So the trick is to find which wheel bearing it is in the first place because it's pretty hard to tell inside the car. You just get a whining noise and wind down windows each side and everything and you still have trouble finding where it uh, comes from. So I'll bring the camera over and uh, see if we can pick up the sound of the uh, wheel bearing. Here we go. Discount the sound of the uh, uh, brake linings on the disc. Don't know if you can hear that. If I uh, go around the car and spin the other wheels, you don't get that little roar. Anyway, we'll carry on. Rightio, we got the car up on the stand, the wheel off. And I turned the wheel on an angle like that. So it makes it easier for me to get at the brake caliper bolts. You need a 19mm socket, there's one bolt here and another bolt there and uh, so what we're going to do is unbolt the brake caliper and I have a piece of wire and with this piece of wire I tie the brake caliper up out of the way so there's no strain on the hose and so I shall do that now. Okay, I've got the brake caliper off and tied up out of the way and now I'm going to take off the dust cap on the hub, hub here. Okay, dust cap off. Now I've got a, a greasy old rag and wipe out that grease there. Okay, I'll pull out this uh, bit of brass here, it's an anti-static thing for the radio and I'll get a 5mm Allen key and I'll loosen off the uh, 5 mil lock screw. Now, loosen off that 5 mil screw, and then we, I've already hit it with a spanner and uh, undo the locking nut and the washer at the back, take that off too. Having that done, now we just slide off the whole hub, pull it off which I can't do holding the camera. Hub's off, now we take it over to the uh, workbench. This is the uh, outside bearing race. And if you look closely, see there where, where my thumb is, you can see it's scored and uh, worn a bit. And if you roll the rollers, some, some are okay. But uh, that's, you can see on that one definitely there, because it's uh, on the way out. I just cleaned that one up to show you. Okay, this is the outside here. I'll flip it over. The inside has an oil seal, and uh, the bearings in there. What I'm going to do is flip it back over, get a dolly, and hammer out the seal and the bearing on the inside there. I'll show you the hard part shortly. Okay, the hard part is knocking the outer of the bearings out. Now, down there, I don't know if you can see, it's just that little step on the edge, and that's the only lever point of the outer of the bearing to knock it out. And the same applies to the, uh, this outer of the bearing at the top. You've got to flip it over and try and get that out. And that is the hard part. Just keep persevering and whack away. Okay, I've taken out the inner bearing and there's a little bit of wear on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. And uh, and that's probably enough. And a little bit on the rollers there where that black line runs around. But it uh, doesn't take much. With all that banging, the uh, rotor came off or disc. Uh, anyway, 
I've got the uh, inner outer <laughs> of the bearing okay, out. Okay, I've got the outers of the bearing bearings out, and so what I'm going to do now is wash it. We uh, don't want any impurities like filings or anything in there, so I'll just wipe it out, or wash it out, and uh, wipe it over, and then we'll put the new bearings in. Now this is the inside bearing. The inner race, that part, goes to the inside of the car. So I'm going to tap in that piece and uh, tap it all the way home. Now the uh, outside bearing goes to the outside of the car. So this part goes in like that. And I must say, it's much easier putting them in than taking them out. Okay, have a look on the inside when you do this to make sure they're up as far as they can go. So now I'm going to uh, put the inner bearing um, on for the inside of the car and put the dust cap on and grease it all up, plenty of grease. Right, I've got my uh, bearing in there and it's all greased up and I've got my oil seal ready to go and I'm just going to tap that one on that one. Okay, now I've uh, put plenty of grease on the inside of the hub here for the outer bearing uh, if it needs it and now I'll take the hub over and put it on the car and then I'll put the outer bearing on. Now I'll just grease up the outer bearing and uh, put it on the uh, in the hub here and I'll put the uh, lock nut and washer on and screw it up. Okay, that's all back together. Now what I do is I tighten the nut up so you can't turn, so I can't spin the disc oh, oh, disc hub. Anyway, what I do is I just back it off a little bit until she moves and that's it there you go reasonably tight but she'll come good now what I'm going to do is pack more grease in there tighten up that uh, lock nut of course and put the uh, dust cap back on okay rotor back on calipers back on and now I've just got to tighten up the bolts for the uh, calipers the uh, the torque setting is 115 newton meters on the tension wrench. A couple of things I forgot to mention. Um, the uh, wheel bearing sets and that come as a kit. Some of the kits provide the bolts for the brake caliper because they say you should uh, change your bolts every time you remove them. Uh, I don't think I ever have. <clears throat> but here's an interesting thing for those who might know. In the tool kit of the car is a little uh, screw thing with a threaded end. That's for the bolts. Whoops. If you put that on there and you put your wheel on, it makes it easier to uh, line up the bolt holes. There you go. Just some little thing. Now I'm over and out. Bye. <laughs>